Hello students, today I am going to explain 5th September mains shift 1 paper. First question, correct structure of PCL5 in solid state. PCL5 in solid state. Actually, uh, PCL5 structure is trigonal bipyramidal. It is in uh, gaseous state and liquid state. But in, in the case of solid state, it exists as uh, ionic uh, solid ionic solid which is uh, so PCL5 is going to be converted to PCL4 plus and uh, uh, PCL6 minus so this is cation tetrahydrol and it is anion it is octahedral. So generally PCL4 structure is trigonal bipyramidal, which is in uh, gas state and liquid state. But in the case of ionic uh, solid state, it is ionic solid. So plus and minus ionic solid. Right. So what the correct option here? So cation tetrahedral, anion octahedral. So PCL4 plus. So here PCL4 minus it is exist as first option is square pyramidal and square or trigonal bipyramidal. So it is exist as PCL4 minus square planar PCL4 minus 6 after header, but it exists as sorry, it's a plus right. So PCL4 plus tetrahedral PCL5 PCL6 minus after header. So the correct option is fourth one. Next question. What is the value of CFC crystal field stabilization energy for complex having 3D6 configuration in high spin situation? Here, high spin situation and 3D6, these two are important key point to pick up correct option among these four. So, what is the um, important point here? High spin situation. High spin means uh, high spin means indirectly more number of unpaired electron that means which is weak field ligand which is weak field ligand in uh, given uh, 3 to 6 configuration right so these two are very very important points are which is low spin that means more number of unpaired electrons and weak field ligands in 3 to 6 configuration and one more here all options are delta o delta o delta o delta t delta t delta t that means delta o delta mean change in Crystal field stabilized energy in octahedral. The same time, delta delta means change in crystal field stabilized energy in tetrahedral. So we need to find CFC in octahedral, CFC in tetrahedral with respect to 3D6 and high spin situation. So first of all, I am going to find uh, octahedral complex. Octahedral 3D6. How many electron we have? Six electrons are there. So what happened here? Octahedral in weak field again. So, 3 orbitals T2G and 2 orbitals EG between the axis and on the axis. So, how many are 6 electrons are there? Weak field 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the way to fill in weak field ligands opposite. So, this is difference 3B5. This energy is difference in 2B5. So, 0 0.6 delta O. This is 0 0.4 delta O. Right, so CFC crystal field stabilization energy is equal to here minus 0 0.4 into total how many are 4 plus 0 0.6 into here 2. Right, so minus 1.6 plus uh, 1.2. So after works out, you will get 0 0.4 delta O. Right, so next coming to tetrahedral. So tetrahedral for this one. So here three of them are T2G. Here he, he two of them are easy. So total three to six configuration, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here sir T2G. Here 0 0.4, here 0 0.6, right? Right. CFC 
C for tetrahedral is equal to minus 0 0.6 into uh, 3 atoms. So, 3 plus your 0 0.4 into 3 electrons. So, uh, this is minus 1.8 plus uh, 1.2. So, this is minus 0 0.6 delta T. Right? So, here what is octahedral sir? Minus 0 0.4 delta O. Tetrahedral sir? Minus 0 0.6 delta T. So, minus 0 0.4 delta O. Minus 0 0.6 delta T. So, first one is correct. This question. For the following reaction, at equilibrium, 2NO gives, gives rise to N2O4. Delta H is equal to minus 58 kilojoule per mole. Following change are made that identify in which direction shift. Increase in temperature and increase in pressure. It is depends on Lee Chatelier principle concept. So according to Lee Chatelier principle, if changing enthalpy is negative, it is exothermic low temperature. If number of mole, if number of moles are decreases, high pressure are required. If number of moles are decreases, low pressure are required. If changing enthalpy is positive, endothermic reaction, high temperature are required. But here negative sign is there. That's why low temperature are required. But here low temperature required moves uh, forward direction. To mean, that means forward direction means to form products. But according to our question, increase in temperature. That's why it is towards the reactant side. That means backward side. So actually, according to Lee Charter principle, negative sign exothermic low temperature it is okay but according to question here uh, temperature increases what happens are this is reverse ulta backward direction is there backward direction means towards reactant side so and next con next condition is increase in pressure okay here how many moles are two moles here one more okay pressure means pressure is high pressure is required that means moves towards forward direction that means to form product so here uh, towards product side so towards reactant side and towards product side so that's why here second option so second option is correct for towards reactant side back backward direction towards product side that means forward direction next question above cmc correct diagram for, uh, for missile formation above cmc critical missile concentration what is meaning of your critical missile concentration? Critical missile concentration. At this concentration, missiles are formed. So, CMC, critical missile concentration. Okay. Actually, how to form missile in water? Right. I want to take a soap here. So, what is the soap formula? C17 H35. COO ENA. It is called sodium stearate. Which is called sodium stearate. So, which is dissolved in water, what happens on here? C7, sorry, C17 H35 COO minus plus NA plus. So, here this part is called hydrophobic N and this part, this part is called hydrophilic N. Right? So, this is carbon chain part, sir. Hydrocarbon chain hydrocarbon chain nothing but this is stain right this is uh, hydrophobic end sorry hydrophilic end so this is head so when soap is dissolved in water what happens are it is decomposes like this and immediately this is something uh, is certified take initiation to form for the formation of CO, I mean missile in water. So this hydrocarbon chain is associate toward the center of the sphere with CO minus part, with CO minus part remaining outward of the sphere here. So like this. So for example, so this is the um, water sir and what happened here? So C17 H35, again C17 H35, C17 H35. C17 H35. So outward the meaning COO minus. So COO minus. 
COO minus COO minus and COO minus here. So this is called missile in this case. So you know what here uh, in your um, exam paper COO minus is represented as like this. Like this because this is a head sir. So because this is head only. So this is missile formation in water at CMC. So this diagram is correct for me. So I hope first one is correct option for this one. Next question. Identify the orbitals which are filled in sixth period. Sixth period we are we need to find here. I didn't write the uh, options here, but okay. Sixth period. For example, this is the uh, first period. I mean first group. 1A, all kilometers. First, first period, second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, and seventh period are there. Of course, we have seven periods are there. Here, we are going to find sixth period orbitals, right? You know what? Sixth period, what happens, sir? So, this is a S block element. That's why you can write 6S, right? And next one is F orbitals are there. Yes or no? Next, enter into F orbital. Here, what are the uh, anti antipenultimate anti formula for uh, F orbital? N minus 2, right? N minus 2 into F. Here, N means uh, period here. 6 minus 2 into F. You will get 4F. So, here, 4F is there. Next, D orbital, sir. D orbital, uh, D orbital is penultimate formula. N minus 1 into D. Here what is N? 6th period. 6 minus 1 into D. You will get 5D. Right? So this is 5D. So F orbital, D orbital and S orbital. 6S, 4F and 5D. Next sir, P orbital. In this case, P orbital is there. What is a period number 6? That's why here 6th P. So 6P is there. So, 6, 6s, 4f, 5d, 6p. So, this is the correct option you need to pick up uh, among four options. So, I hope first one is correct option for this one. Question, what is the correct electronic configuration and magnetic moment spin only for GV plus 3, 64, gadolinium plus 3, IR, 64 atomic number? So, right and first electron configuration for gadolinium 64 atomic number. So, xenon 54 atomic number. Next, xenon is ends with 6s. Next, uh, next sir, 4f. Next, 5d. Next, 6s. So, here 4f7, 5d1, 6s2. So, this is the electron configuration for gadolinium. Next one to find magnetic moment. Magnetic moment is also called as spin only formula, right? So here gadolinium plus three sir, plus three means sir, uh, first electron will uh, lose from S and D. So two plus one, total three electrons are loose in this case. So left four F seven. Here four F seven means sir here. So, 7 unbreak runs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 unpaired electrons we have. Right? So, magnetic moment symbol. Magnetic moment is equal to formula n into n plus 2 Bm. More magnetic. So, they are units for magnetic moment. So, then magnetic moment is equal to here n. Number of unbreak runs. 7, sir. So, 7 into 7 plus 2. After works out, you will get 7.93 magnetic moment. More magnetic. Here, you know what? Here, this is the very, very, very easy question. Why, sir? Spin only formula. How many unpaired electrons are there? That is answer. Here, how many, sir? 7. So, 7. So, more, I mean, magnetic moment is always range, but not fixed. 7 is the correct one. 7.93, 7.82, 7.9, uh, 7.67 is also correct one. So, 7 is the correct answer for that. If, for example, if you will get uh, um, 500 turns, so 5 point something, 
for example if, if you will get uh, one one point something two unpaid returns two point something so so how many uh, unpaid returns are that is the correct for magnum movement here how many how many are seven that's why seven is right seven point nine three seven point eight three seven point four is all are correct because magnetic movement is not for fixed real fixed value for it's a range right so this question difference in radius of third and fourth orbit in helium plus ion is R1 and in lithium plus ion is R2. Then, then find ratio of R1 east R2. Here, radius of third and fourth orbits are actually radius is directly proportional to n square by z square. Right? So, here we have lithium plus 2. Here, lithium plus 2. Z is equal to uh, 3 sir and helium plus z is equal here 2 sir so what is a uh, formula for for example this is uh, helium for fourth or, uh, fourth uh, orbit and uh, helium plus is third orbit so formula uh, r4 minus r3 by difference we need to find ratio difference only that's why again R4 minus R3. So, right here, what is R, sir? R means, uh, first of all, lithium. Take lithium because fourth, uh, fourth orbit. That means n square by z minus, here also n square by z. By again, n square by z minus n square by z here. So here, what is n square sir? for uh, uh, lithium orbit 4th? That means 4 square by atomic number 3 minus 3 square by atomic number 3 by n square. 4 square by 2 minus 3 square by 2. So 16 by 3 minus 9 by 3 and here also 16 by 2 minus uh, 9 by 2 so after works out here uh, 16 means here 16 minus 2 by 16 minus 3 so you will get so 2 by 3 so i hope the ratio is 2 is 3 so the 2 is 3 ratio is correct for this one Next question for galvanic cell m plus 2 zn solid m to the plus 2 here so here the total net change of electrons here 2 and delta g naught we have minus 386 kilojoule per mole can you change joules for joule per mole that means 386 uh, into 10 power 3 so joule for mole okay right because in volts the value of e naught cell in volts so what's the formula sir Delta G naught direct formula sir. Delta G naught is equal to minus N into F E naught cell. Right? Delta G is equal to minus N into F E naught cell. We need to find E naught cell sir. What is the value of Delta G naught? Yes. Minus 386. Minus 386 into 10 power 3. Minus. N means number of electrons. Here 2. Change net electrons to Faraday. 96,500 coulombs. We need to find here. E naught cell. So here minus minus get cancel sir. So after work served here E naught cell is equal to here 2 volts. So answer is 2 volts here. Right. Next question. What is the den what is the density of EDTA? Here density means dentate. Right. Now what is the density here in EDTA? That means how many ligands are present in a given com given compound. EDTA means ethylene diamine tetraacetate. Once again, ethylene diamine tetraacetate is EDTA. So the structure for this one. Sorry. So CH double bond CH ethylene diamine. Yes, ethylene diamine. Instead of two hydrogens, one acetic acetate and uh, acetate here. Here also instead of two hydrogens, CH2 COO minus CH2 C 
OO minus here. Each nitrogen having one lone pair, right? So here one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ligands are present. Six ligands are ready to donate towards central atom of coordination compound. So here the density is six hexadentate. That means hexadentate. So density is hexa. I hope it is six is the correct answer for this one. Next question. For complete combustion of one mole of each propane and butane, propane and butane, find sum of uh, find sum of minimum number of moles of O2 required. Find sum of minimum number of moles of O2 required here. So, what is the combustion equation for uh, actual combustion equation? Cx Hy plus x plus y by four. O2 is equal to XCO2 plus Y by 2 Y by 2 H2O. So this is our formula. First for combustion for propane. Propane C3H8. Right? C3H8. Here X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to 8. Substitute and get the equation here. So 5O2 gives rise to here. So 3CO2 plus 4H2O for propane and for butane. Butyl C4H10. Here H is equal to 4 and Y is equal to 10 plus here 13 by O2 plus 4CO2 plus 5H2O. Right 5 h 2 here. So this is combustion equation for propane and butane. So we need to find sum of minimum number of moles of O2 required. O2 required here. Here O2 for propane 5 O2, 13 by 2 O2 for butane. So some some of them. Some so here so 13 by 2, right? Plus 5. 13 by 2 plus 5. So you will get here uh, 11. Point Five out of works out, you will get 11.5 is the correct and social. Which of the following is not essential amino acid? Of course, directly can say that second option tyrosine is not a uh, amino acid, right? Next question number of chiral carbons are present in dipeptide of iron or pro. Here, iron or pro means here, I means isolysine. So this is such a for isolation or means arginine so this is such a for arginine and this is propylene so pro means pro means propylene so this is such a for this one so combination of these three uh, to find number of chiral carbons are present so structure for i or pro here so number of chiral carbons one this is one of the chiral carbon and two second chiral carbon third chiral carbon and fourth chiral carbon so total how many five chiral carbons are there sir four chiral carbons are there so the answer is four next question ch3ch2 c triple bond n is converted to ch3ch2 ch2 nh2 here you know what this carbon is converted to ch2 and this nitrogen is converted to nh2 so here what do you understand here we need strong reducing agent because here reduction takes place here that's why what is our strong reducing agent here lithium aluminum hydride so our sodium borohydride is also correct so according to according to our option lithium aluminum hydride is the correct one for this one right so next to Ellinger diagram tells about first option kinetic of reaction second one information about ph Third one, temperature dependence of delta G value in formation of metal oxide. So this is the direct answer, sir. direct question. Yes or no? So third option is correct one. Because what is the uh, definition for uh, Ellinger diagram? Graph of delta G naught against temperature. Here what is our delta G naught standard free energy change against temperature for the formation of different oxide is called Ellinger diagram. So direct definition, third one is correct one. Next question, water vapors and water in container or in equilibrium, some amount of glucose added, 
to water what happens to the rate of operation here i didn't write option here but okay i will explain i mean uh, what is the correct option here right so here for example take water yes this is the water sir and in container uh, water of course water uh, releases the vapors we know that vapors okay both are in equilibrium sir vapors and water are in equilibrium right but we are added some amount of glucose sir we are added in uh, suddenly we are added some amount of glucose here what happened rate of evaporation here here what is the nature of glucose sir glucose nature is non volatile non volatile compound right non volatile solid or non volatile compound so non volatile means immediately the rate of evaporation will be decreases so first option is correct one decrease of rate of evaporation so first option is correct one here question how many possible stereo isomer for platinum en taken twice lmo2 taken twice here you know what here en is a bidentate like it because ethylene diamine ethylene diamine ch2 ch2 nh2 nh2 each nitrogen one lone pair each nitrogen one not one lone pair taken two so four ligands are there right four ligands are there no2 no2 taken two so plus two total six that means octahedral complex so this is octahedral complex yes or not you know what this is ambidentate ligand so ambidentate means so which has two center yes sir which has two center uh, themselves reacts towards uh, uh towards center of central atom of the coordination compound so here like this n double bond o so this nitrogen is one lone pair so this nitrogen is one lone pair it is related to central metal atom at the same time o n o minus so it is also related to to uh, donate to the central metal atom so this is called ambidentate ligands so here one to the three cases are possible cis no2 no2 two isomers optically active trans no2 no2 one isomer optically active again case two cis no2 o n o ambidentate ligand two isomers optically active trans no2 o n o only one isomer optically active cis o n o o n o two isomers optically active trans o n o o n o only optically only one isomer optically inactive this is integer type of question so total nine isomers are there so nine is the correct one question density is equal to 6.17 gram per centimeter cube a is equal to 300 picometers weight is equal to 200 grams number of molecules in terms of na so here in bc system z is equal to sir right we need to find number of molecules in terms of a so what is the formula so this is belong to solid state sir density is equal to uh, Z into M by A power Q into N A. So we need to find Avogadro number. That's why. So Avogadro number keep here. Avogadro number is equal to. So Z into Z Z into M by A power Q into density. Okay, so here what is the value for picometer? But we here we are in centimeters there. Change one picometer. What is the value, sir? Yes, 1 picometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 12 meters. At the same time, 1 picometer is equal to 10 to the power of minus 10 centimeters. Right? We need centimeter. That's why here. So, 300 into 10 to the power of minus 10 centimeters. Total 3 into 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeter. Right? Substitute. So, NA is equal to Z how much are for BC system 2? So T into weight, weight on atomic weight, how much are 200 grams? So that's why, so 200 by A power, A Q sir, A value here. So 3 into 10 to the power of minus 8, 4 to the power of Q into, uh, into, what are density sir? 6.17, right? So then Avogadro number is equal to, so it is 400 by, so 3 into 3 into 3. So 27 into so 3 into 8, 10 to the power of minus 
so i hope you all of you understand so please subscribe my channel thank you